what's up Aries this is Soul and Aries uh, we're going to take a look at some energy for you this upcoming week starting July 6 and ending July 12 2020 the messages will be for Aries Sun Moon and Aries rising signs all right Aries I hope all is well please sit back uh, relax and I hope that you enjoy your reading all right Aries we'll look at some energy for Aries Aries I'm using the uh, true black tarot now I won't use this card because I just started uh, recording and uh, shuffling at the same time so I, I always like to do the shuffling on uh, camera here. So anyway Aries uh, we're going to look at um, some energy for you uh, starting July 6th ending July 12th 2020 uh, for Aries Sun Moon and Aries Rising Signs. And using the, again the True Black Tarot to deliver your uh, energies this upcoming week and Aries I really do hope all is well. And so let's see what is uh, potentially in store coming up for you, my fellow Aries, uh, this upcoming week. Aries, we're going to start the energy off for you at the Shadow Base, and we're going to have the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups has been showing up here quite a bit, and I've been explaining to um, the other Zodiac signs about this Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is always about being handed a loss or feeling some type of way emotionally. But it may not be you directly, okay? Because these other cups could represent the people that you're connected to, which could be, you know, children. Cups represent children for me. They could be your romantic partners, your friendships, uh, family members, or extended family members. Oftentimes, I've been drawn in the energies to uh, talk about the fact that the Eight of Cups may be showing up here because this might be a week where um, Aries may be dumped on a lot by other people and their problems. Be very, very cautious and uh, discerning and careful when you are dealing with other people, whether they're family members, your friends, co-workers or whatever, that they're not, you know, and I don't even think it would be an intentional dumping, but it would just be that there's some issues going on with some people and you know they see you as a, a an outlet okay so but you must be very careful not to draw in to their energies because then you'll end up feeling like how they feel so it's not always about you walking away Aries it's about you um, being discerning about whose energy you're going to uh, accept or receive okay so that's the eight of cups and that's um, energy that represents cancer Scorpio and Pisces your focus here for the week is the ace of Pentacles which is a good card and the ace of Pentacles is about starting possibly for some of you a new job getting a pay raise probably uh, some of you getting promote, promoted into higher paying positions the aces are always the start of something new uh, it could be just starting to save money that's the uh, aspect of the Ace of Pentacles. It's a card of generosity. It's also a card of long-term investment, security, as well as stability. So whatever that energy is going to mean for you, this is what is showing up here. There could be an aspect for uh, some Aries where the, you're the receptor of receiving some sort of money. Now, the amount of money is unknown because it's the Ace. Okay, so keep that in mind. Ace of Pentacles represents uh, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Next up is the Queen of... This is the Queen of Wands. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm reading this right. Or calling this out right. Because there's very few cards in this deck that I have difficulty trying to discern. This... Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Queen of Pentacles. So that's definitely... <laughs> that's definitely somebody getting a new job being uh, bumped into a higher paying position or a role. Uh, pay raises, uh, promotions, you name it. Okay? The Queen could represent your employer. It could represent those creditors. It's a good week for, uh, and you know, asking for favors and generosity. It's still just like the Ace of Pentacles represents a security, a stability, long-term energies. Somebody that you can depend on. Now, you could just uh, have the attributes of this queen, uh, Aries, and, you know, you're dependable. You're reliable. Um, you may be... Um, handing someone some sort of financial assistance someone could be handing you some sort of financial assistance it's all good with this ace of pentacles crossing that ace of pentacles for sure there may be some aries out there who are business minded and want to start a business of their own queen of pentacles <clears throat> represents uh, taurus capricorn and virgo yes money is all about you this upcoming week aries because now we have the six of pentacles that follows the queen 
Six of Pentacles is my amendment card. This is my apology card. Someone may owe Aries an apology, even if it's just for a slight transgression. The balanced uh, number of Pentacles is the apology forthcoming and then the acceptance of the apology by you. Again, the same thing that I just said about the Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, a pay raise, a small bonus coming in, more money coming in uh, from known sources or unknown sources for Aries uh, this upcoming week. It's also to the aspect that uh, Aries may find themselves to be a little bit more uh, focused on their work and or their finances or their financial matters. Up next is your energy again. Well, it's not again, but it's the Queen of Pentacles. Damn. It's the Queen of Pentacles. I'm sorry. It's the Queen of Wands, not the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands is here. Well, she's focused. So you may be focused on your work. You may be passionate about your work. Um, this is sexual energy, sexual expression. Always when a queen and king uh, shows up, I get an older feel. So that could be uh, energy that represents your parents or your grandparents. It could be, you know... Um, even though we have the Eight of Cups here and I don't, you know, see that as a very favorable card in terms of uh, connecting with, uh, you know, new situations. But it could be, it could very well be a possibility since we do have two queens that are showing up here. Um, yeah, being passionate about something, things heating up when the females I always talk about uh, experiencing, um, you know, more hot flashes or having an experience with a hot flash. That could be, um, but you're serious about whatever you're focused on or whatever you become, you know, passionate about. This is good energy. So that represents you, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Up next is the Ace of Swords. So this is victory and success. And I like this Ace of Swords in this deck because look at all that uh, orange and the fire and stuff. That That's part of your energy. So Aries, you're on fire. Ace of Swords is about um, achieving some sort of victory and success in some endeavor. It also could be the start of... Um, Seeking out new adventures or excitement to bring those energies into your life, whatever it is, you're passionate about it. And double aces in any uh, reading is very auspicious. So I do feel that there is an aspect of uh, some really powerful good energy coming up for uh, Aries related to, for some of you, for uh, the most part related to work and money. Something going on. And then the Ace of Swords is about you achieving some sort of victory and success. All right. Having to make a very, um, you know, it's decision making and then taking action. Using that sword to clear up any types of uh, uh, confusion or uncertainties centered around any types of other energies that you might be dealing with uh, this upcoming week. And you're on fire. That's the fire that's on top of that sword there. Ace of Swords represent Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Up next is the uh, it's the King of Cups. Here we go. There's the relationship right there. So you have three court cards showing up here. The King of Cups is showing up, and it's a relationship card. So, of course, you know, as always, the uh, King of Cups is nurturing, uh, supportive, nurturing. Yeah, nurturing, supportive, caring, loving, giving, emotionally, um, intuitive so pay attention to your intuition this upcoming week it's an older feel so it can represent uh, those parents of Aries or the grandparents of Aries but it's, it's you know in a good way emotional support giving emotional support receiving emotional support also because you have the queen of pentacles here financial support giving financial support then you're focused with the queen of wands okay Focus with the Queen of Wands showing up here. Then you're passionate about uh, some type of energy. I feel that it's connected to, it could be, you know, it could be something as simple as a hobby, whatever it is that you have an interest in. Uh, it could be a, a new pursuit or it could be an existing uh, hobby that you're dealing with, but you're passionate about it. Again, I'm feeling more work and, and money coming into play than anything. And then we got the king that represents Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So it could be new connections uh, in terms of relationships or just having uh, beneficial exchanges with other people uh, that is, you know, more than likely going to turn out in your favor. As we have the um, 
card of generosity that's crossing your immediate environment. And I always say that I pay attention to the very first two cards that are drawn because it usually gives me an indication of how some of you may experience and your week may go along or come along potential. All right, so you're starting off very good here. And then as we proceed forward, it's still, the energy is still good. All right, so what is up next is more good energy, the Eight of Wands. And, you know, I love the elements to show up for the sign that I'm reading for. This is good news, surprises that could come in rapidly. This is an open general reading, Aries. It could be that, um, and I know that I've been experiencing some <laughs> shipping delays uh, from people that I normally do business with that, you know, delivery is is usually done very rapidly but for some strange reason it's been you know held up so if you are that aries that has been waiting for any types of uh, packages or parcels to arrive this may be the week that it comes through good communications whatever you express to others this upcoming week uh, aries it will be understood and whatever uh information that comes your way through the expression of other people, you're going to understand it as well. So there's no miscommunication. There's a greater uh, need to communicate. And through those means, it could be simple, um, something as simple as, you know, texting. Uh, a lot of texting always taking place. Uh, but yeah, whatever comes through in the form of text is understood. And then there's a surprise, definitely some sort of surprise. That could come your way as well. All right, so we finish off the uh, energy for you with the Major Arcana, the Judgment card. This is a neutral type of energy for me. And not only are you going to be moving about this week, uh, Aries being focused and uh, possibly some of you focused on, it could be relationships as well, since we have uh, multitudes of court cards uh, that are showing up here. And um, But I do feel that whatever you do, the judgment card always comes up for me as that you're watched over, you're spiritually protected. So you can move confidently throughout the week knowing that, you know, you're protected and you're watched over. So it mirrors the Ace of Swords. So when it comes to making business or, you know, uh, decision making, using your best judgment to make decisions that are going to benefit you. This is my awareness card. Self-awareness, self, it could be self-reflection. Uh, unlike the moon, it's a different type of self-reflection. It could be something that you discover about yourself that you wasn't aware of before. Uh, the other thing is, too, that you could um, come into some sort of discovery related to uh, energies tapped into other people, but it doesn't have to be negative. The most important thing that comes through with the judgment card, when it does show up, not only are you spiritually watched over, but spiritually protected, it's asking you that no matter what you go through or what is met uh, with, you know, whatever you meet during this week is not to be hard or take, you know, judgment on yourself and definitely do not express that energy towards other people. All right. So this is a good card to get. What's hidden in the dark comes to the light. So, sort of like um, an epiphany, I would call it, you know, that some of you may experience some type of energy. But it's all good. Actually, Aries, this is a very good um, energy for you this week. I hope it potentially opens up for you. Uh, whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, I always encourage you to do it safely. Aries, stay strong, stay positive. Stay healthy, of course, and uh, sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again. Bye.